What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be fantasy booking the return of Dean the Mean Machine Ambrose. <laughs> Alright guys, well I know they don't call him Dean Machine or whatever the hell I just said, but uh, yeah, Dean Ambrose, you know, he's been on the shelf for a while, I believe he had a shoulder injury if I'm not mistaken, and uh, before he left he was tag teaming with Seth Rollins, you know, they were going through their little feud or whatever, I mean they weren't feuding, but they were, you know, in the portions of breaking up and him uh, getting rid of Jason Jordan due to injury, and then you know Dean Ambrose came in there, got injured, and then Seth Rollins came in there, and now he, he's been alone for a while, and today we're going to be fantasy booking the return turn of Dean Mean Machine Ambrose, and uh, this is what I got. I think it's a pretty good fantasy booking idea. If you follow me on Twitter, I did sort of mention what I thought on Twitter last night during Monday Night Raw, because I thought for sure, I was like, there's no way, man. I, I swear to God, if WWE blows this, and they freaking, uh, because you know, we thought that Seth Rollins, he had a mystery tag team partner last night on Monday Night Raw, going up against Dolph Ziggler, the Intercontinental Champion, who Seth Rollins is facing at SummerSlam, and Drew McIntyre. You know, they've been a tag team for a little bit right now. Um, and he had a mystery partner, and everybody was like, it's Dean Ambrose, it's Dean Ambrose. And I was like, please, God, don't let it be Dean Ambrose. Thank God it wasn't. It was the big dog Roman Reigns for some odd reason. But um, anyways... It was Roman Reigns, not Dean Ambrose, and if if it had been Dean Ambrose, it would have really disappointed me. I mean, to be honest, guys, before Dean Ambrose got injured, I was really freaking, like, sick of Dean Ambrose. I was like, my God, like, what is this guy doing? He's been doing the same old shtick forever and ever, and it's so boring, yawn, yawn. I loved his 2016 run. You know, he really elevated himself, I thought, but I just got sick of seeing his face. Him and The Miz, him and AJ Styles, him and James Ellsworth, just all the time, and then he had that long feud with Jericho, and it was just like, good God, Almighty, the jacket and the Ambrose Asylum match and all that mess. So I don't know. He really, I got really burnt out on Dean Ambrose, but I'm going to be honest, since he's been missing, I've actually been missing him a lot. Like I've been like, dang, bro, Dean Ambrose, where you at, bro? It's just not the same without Dean Ambrose. So I think that it is finally time for him to return. I think it has been cleared. I think the only time we've seen him on television, not even in WWE, I'm talking about just out and about in public, is when he was with his wife, Renee Young, or his fiance. I don't know if they're married yet. But uh, they were at a hockey game. He looked great. He looked like he's in the best shape that he's ever been in. He had a nice beard going. He kind of looked like Seth Rogen or Sami Zayn. But uh, he was looking good over there. But anyways, Dean Ambrose should be returning soon. And right now we're going to fancy book it. All right. So you know as well as I do, it's SummerSlam. We have the man, the architect, the freaking burn it down fireman. We got Seth Rollins taking on Dolph Ziggler for the Intercontinental Championship. I'm excited for it, sort of, because, you know, their Raw match was great. Their Extreme Rules match was subpar at best. You know, it didn't live up to the hype. The crowd hijacked the match, yada, yada, yada. But, uh, yeah, Seth Rollins is taking on Dolph Ziggler. Should be a good match. I hope that, you know, since the crowd won't take it over and jack and stuff like that, I think that it will be a good one. Hopefully a little bit better than the Raw one, which was great. So they go head-to-head. -head. We can go ahead and move Drew out of the way here for a second. But uh, we have Dean not even showing up yet. We got Seth versus Dolph right here, and they're battling at SummerSlam. Seth freaking Rollins regains the Intercontinental Championship. Maybe Drew McIntyre gets involved or something, and we have Drew and Dolph sort of getting each other's way. They somehow, Drew or Dolph, they get mixed up. They get mixed signals, and Dolph loses the Intercontinental Championship. So Seth Rollins regains the title, and he's all celebrating, all facey and stuff. He, you know, he's burning it down in the ring. He's doing his little chainsaw wave around that he does with the championship after he wins it. You know, he's going buck wild. And then, bam, Dean Ambrose music hits. Huge pop from the crowd. Dean Ambrose makes his way down to the ring, confronts Seth Rollins, and, you know, he shakes his hand, gives him a hug, and he's like, yeah, man, congratulations, whatever. Bam, kicks him in the sternum. Dirty Deeds onto the championship and just stares at him. Gives that crazed eyes look that he has right here on this figure into the hard cam. And we have a heel turn from Dean Ambrose. You know, he leaves behind that freaking boring and trash face run that we saw for so long. And he turns heel. Bam, right there. On Seth Rollins. And going forward, we have a shield tag, former tag team, Intercontinental Championship feud going forward into the end of 2018. That would be absolutely beautiful. You could even have it culminate at Hell in a Cell with a Hell in a Cell match between these two for the IC title. You could do uh, a few other matches maybe just because, you know, Dean Ambrose is supposed to be extreme, so uh, you could take advantage of that. Or... 
you could do it a different way. You could just have sort of how Seth Rollins did Roman Reigns at, uh, what was that, Money in the Bank? No, it was Extreme Rules 2016. Extreme Rules 2016 when Seth Rollins returned from his knee injury to Roman Reigns. You know how he just showed up and pedigreed Roman? You could do the same thing here instead of, you know, his music playing. Have him show up out of nowhere. But I would have him swerve Seth Rollins. I would have Dean come out and be like, you know what, man? I'm here to embrace you. I'm back, bro. Congratulations. Bam! Dirty Deeds out of nowhere. That's that's That would be nice because it's a swerve. Or you could just have him show up and Dirty Deeds him out of nowhere, and that would be cool, too. I'm fine with either. I just don't want to babyface Ambrose, and I want them to treat his return special, and I think this is a great way to do it with the Shield and, you know, Seth Rollins and the Intercontinental Championship. And this would move along the storyline between Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre. Apparently, they're supposed to be main eventers very soon, so hopefully that is what takes place after Dolph drops the IC title. And uh, that's what I think will go forward. You know, they'll break off into their own storyline. You'll still have this storyline. And that is how I would fantasy book the return of Dean Mean Machine Ambrose, as I keep calling him for some stupid reason. But, uh... Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. What do you think of my booking idea? Leave me a comment down below what you think. Leave me a like. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Also, let me know what you think of fantasy booking videos. Do you enjoy these or would you like me to, uh, I don't know, not do them? I feel like you guys enjoy my thoughts. You know, my predictions videos and show reviews do pretty well here on the channel. So I think you guys do enjoy my fantasy. I think the last time I did a fantasy booking, you guys did enjoy it with Money in the Bank. So if you guys enjoy the fantasy bookings, let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. D-Machine Ambrose, see you in the next video. Mean Machine.